Hi, I'm Amanda and welcome to The Hot Plate. Today we'll be getting steamy in the kitchen making a mushroom risotto. I love risotto, best of all because it allows me to use up the odds and ends of ingredients that I have lying around in the fridge. Now you may have seen that a few weeks ago we made a mushroom pan sauce for our steak, so we'll be using those remaining mushrooms to make this savory risotto. We've got some Parmesan cheese, one teaspoon of dried thyme, kosher salt, freshly ground black pepper, extra virgin olive oil, one cup of arborio rice, a quarter cup of dry white wine, half a Spanish onion finely chopped, four cups of no salt chicken stock, we've got 100 grams of baby portobello mushrooms and 100 grams of shiitake mushrooms. The key thing when making a risotto is to make sure that you have all of your ingredients prepped. Now we have everything laid out here, but the last thing we need to do is to chop up our mushrooms. We're going to get going with our portobello mushrooms. All we're going to do is pop off the stem and discard them, and then we're going to lay the cap flat on a cutting board. Using your knife and keeping your other hand safe at the other end of the cap, we'll start slicing thinly. Once we've completely sliced that, we're going to gather all of those slices, turn them 180 degrees and then come back crosswise so that we have a nice fine chop on our portobello mushroom caps. Once those are done, we'll transfer them over to a bowl and now we're going to start with our shiitake mushrooms. Now, the stem on a shiitake mushroom is tough, so we want to trim it, but don't bother removing it completely. Then carefully holding the mushroom cap on one side, we'll run our knife through it so we have nice thin strips. We're not going to finely chop this because we want to make sure that our risotto has some texture. Now that we're ready to start, we're going to heat up our chicken stock. This could be substituted for vegetable stock if you're a vegetarian. So we're just going to dump it into a small pot and then bring it up to a simmer and just let it stay warm. In our other saucepan, which could also be a pot or a large skillet, we're going to be heating up two tablespoons of extra virgin olive oil over medium heat. Dump in your onions and start to saute until they're slightly translucent. This will take about five minutes. Dump in your arborio rice and stir for two minutes. This is called toasting and you should hear a faint crackling sound. Add in the thyme and stir for one minute. Then add in your white wine and stir until it's completely evaporated. Add the mushrooms and give it a couple stirs to make sure that all of the flavors are combined. The initial addition of stock is going to be two cups. So we'll dump in our two cups of stock, keeping it over that medium heat. We don't want it to boil. And we're going to start stirring. And we're going to continue to stir until we can draw a line across the bottom of the pot. Once this has been completely absorbed, we're going to continue adding the stock in one cup additions, making sure to stir thoroughly before adding the next one. We've now been stirring for about 25 to 30 minutes and it's time to taste the arborio rice. Give it a taste and if it's starting to taste tender, then it's done. Once it's finished, we're going to add a bunch of our delicious looking Parmesan cheese and we're going to season it up with our salt and our pepper. Stir to let all of that delicious cheese melt and then we're ready to plate up our risotto. Our mushroom risotto is all done and I can't wait to get a big bite of this. Mm. Mm. Oh yeah, it's creamy, it's got a little bit of that earthiness from the mushrooms. This risotto is total luxury and it's so easy to make. Thanks so much for checking out The Hot Plate. Make sure to check out this and all of our other episodes and recipes at thehotplate.com and updates on our Facebook page, facebook.com slash thehotplate.